Today marks the end of football at Jacksonville University. After 22 years on the field, the administration announced it's ending the program. 102 players, though, are still being offered academic scholarships to stay at the school and graduate. News for Jacks reporter Jim Pickett is on campus. Jim, you've been speaking with the students, the athletic director, the president of JU. The big question tonight, why is this happening? Well, their official response in this is it's data driven. Basically what that means is they're talking about the economy with this, how much it costs for this program, maybe just too much at this time. But when talking to the president of the university here, he says it's much more than that. Still, you can imagine this was a very emotional announcement this morning when the players had gathered, when the coaches had gathered. I heard that there were tears. There was also anger as a result of all of this. And many just aren't happy with the way this is coming out. The football field for the JU Dolphins was empty today, and from now on, there will be no games for the home team. None of us really saw it coming. Um, it's devastating just because we love our football team, but uh, I trust the university that they're making a great decision. Many may not see it that way, but the decision was announced this morning by the athletic director to the players and coaches. The head coach was told first, and then other coaches and players were gathered together. The student athletes, it was a difficult conversation. I spoke with them this morning, um, and it was a difficult time for them. For the 102 players, the football games may be over, but their future isn't. I want these student athletes to know we want them to become college graduates and we're offering them a full tuition scholarship, which not one football player currently has today because we don't play scholarship football. While the final decision to cancel football was decided a few days ago, the future and the direction of JU sports has been debated for over a year. While football players, the coaches, and staff are impacted with this decision, it has other students wondering about other campus programs. I was super surprised. Uh, my, all of my years, my full four years, I've had uh, football here, and it's always been something that I've been a part of. I'm a part of the marching band here, so we always perform at the football games. A lot of people obviously upset with that. We're told the other sports programs, though, are not in jeopardy. I think that was a question many people have. Now, coming up all new at 6, you know, I did talk to some people by phone, some players and their families, obviously upset. They said the way that they were told this morning, they were angry about that, and they just wanted more information. We'll have that all new at 6. For now, we're live in the JU campus in Arlington. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station. Well, Jim, the Dolphins did enjoy some glory years when former Gator quarterback Kerwin Bell was their coach. But after he was ousted in 2015, that program declined. But did anybody talk to you today mentioning Bell and the good old days of JU football? Well, you know, we did hear a lot about that, but we also heard with the coach then, that's when the things began to change here. You know, there were questions then about recruiting efforts, maybe uh, not scholarships, but uh, enhancements that were given to some players. And that's what sort of changed what happened here. But then and they said at that point, this whole program just sort of changed at that point. We'll be hearing more about that, too, a little later. All right. Jim Pickett reporting live for us tonight. Jim, thanks.